Hey girls, Kelly here, and I'm just going to be doing a video on hormones. Because a lot of girls don't think hormones is only around your first period and around your period. But that is not true, because hormones is caused by a whole bunch of different things. Like, um, your, I'd feel like the first thing when hormones start playing an act on your life is when, an impact on your life is when you get sweat. Funky under here. Now, um, some people, sorry, I have a kind of a cold right now. Some people, I'd say this is one of the first things I'd see in PPD, but I mean, like, some people probably agree differently, but I don't know. You start getting a little funky, your mom says to you, it's like, man, you kind of smell them, you know, I think it's time to bring out the deodorant, and your mom knows when that time is, so. I'd say around 8 to an above. That's what I just, I think it, it could be sooner than 8, but I think 8 is around the time when you, a lot of girls now, they start entering puberty. Like, that's when I think I started entering, like, around third, in the third grade, beginning of, so, fourth grade, my fourth grade summer, so, yep, that's just my personal experience and a lot of my friends' personal experience, but, yeah, okay, next I'd have to say breast buds. Yep, those come, your mom sees it through your shirt, and, she, okay, most moms are either going to give you a camisole, like, let me show you what one looks like. This is what a camisole looks like. She'll give you one of these, or she'll give you a bra. And I don't think I have one in my closet right now. I will show you what the bra looks like. I will show you later. Yep, that's just another camisole. So, yeah. I uh, actually have a bra and a camisole, so let me show you. Okay, most bras, this is an impossible boat one, and I really need to wash it, but anyway. Shirt, I mean, yeah, it's okay. I won't show you anymore because it's kind of dirty. I don't want you seeing that. So, anyway, um, most bras she'll either give you a camisole or a bra. I'd recommend sports bra in your size or a training bra, but I don't wear those anymore. So, anyway, I do wear sports bras, those, those are comfortable. So, anyway, she'll give you a training bra or a sports bra. Most likely, she will not give you padded bra as your first bra. So, anyway. Um, after that, you will get a, oh, I know what it's called. Okay, so, I'd say breast, sweat, funk, and breast are the next two things that you get. Then I would say, pubic hair. It's hair down there. And I think I have in a book here. I shall show you. Please do not be disgusted. Okay. I don't think you can see it that well, but yeah, you will not be able to see it. Yep, you won't be able to see it. Okay, anyway, that was a page on my American Girl. This book, The Care Keeping of You. Let me see, can I zoom in? I can't do this, but anyway. That's just a little thing. Okay, after PB Care, I would say Vagina Discharge. And that is something where it's just like, this is your vagina. Okay, this is your vagina and this is your let's say this one your vagina discharge should not be one so if it is I don't know so you know okay this is your inside your vagina this is the outside this is a clear light it just gently comes out of your undies like up here it comes out just leaks out and this is your this is your penis just comes out on to your penis like this Okay. And then it leaks on, and it's like that one can use your vagina discharge. So anyway, it's just a little thing that you should know about that. That's what vagina discharge is. I will do a better video on that tonight, probably. So yeah, and then um, after vagina discharge, I would have to say your period, and that can come in any range of time. It's just your period. Okay, so that's, all these things are controlled by hormones. You may not believe it, you may not think that, but it is. You're feeling so one day, you feel really happy. Okay, for me, I'll just use an example of a sport I play. I play volleyball. So, you know, you're feeling, this is an example of me being hormonal. You're, I'm feeling just really happy and everything. And, uh, we just won a game, you know, we just won... Uh, the we just won the whole three all three little sets of the game 25 to 10 that's an awesome game you know that's really good okay and then the last set we won at 15 to nothing awesome Woohoo! we won we're great we're pumped 
Okay, so then I get home, my brother's doing something, and I just yell at him, and I'm like, get away from me. I don't want to see your face, just get away from me. That's hormone, okay? Because I was so happy that we won, but then I got hormonal. Like, hormones are controlled by so many things, and you just don't even notice. So I'm going to also be giving you tips how to... And I, this isn't even for PMS, it's just like hormones, period. If, well, for PMS, I like, um, kind of tired of it. Okay, take a nap. You're going to feel sleepy, and you're going to want to take a nap, but you don't want to, and you do. You just want to get everybody to do it for you. Okay, take a nap. Go up to your room. I don't care where you have to go take a freaking nap. Um, let me see. Let's say this is the diary. So now, get that diary, write in it. The diary, mm, make a video, call your friends, just... Don't snap. Like, you're going to snap on your mom right now, and then you're going to be mad at your mom. You're going to be mad at your teacher. You're going to be mad at your friends. You're going to be... Like, um, the other day, I got really mad at one of my friends. Like, I didn't show it because I know, like, that's just the mean side of me. Like, hormonal side. You know what I mean? And a lot of girls probably do. Because you just, you don't want to hurt their feelings. But, you do. You get mad at your own BFFs. Like, I got mad at one of my BFFs today because... We're emailing and she just didn't email right and yep so yeah that's just how it is and i mean you can get home and like that and you're gonna feel like oh and gee i'm just like so alone right now and i can't take it anymore and that's how it is and like vagina was charged you can always wear too many layer and bras oh and here on your armpits too that is another one i got that one you're gonna get that and you're gonna feel like dang it i hate this i don't like this i don't want this you know, I'd be like, I hate this, I don't want this. That is all caused by hormones. Everything that happens in your body is caused by the hormones in your body. And when you're little, you're that little, little kindergartner. Okay, let me show you an example. You're a little kindergartner, okay? You know, nothing, everything's normal. Now, your older sister, of course. Huh, this is a good example, actually. Your older sister, let's say she's about 12 years old. She's a sixth grader, but your school is K through six. So, anyway, you walk in your sister's bathroom. You guys share a bathroom and everything. You're the little pee wee sixth grader. Kindergartner, she's a big sixth grader. So, you walk in her bathroom, and you see these funny things left out on her counter. And you see a word that says, you've learned how to read it. It says tampon. So, you take it in your hand, and you're like, hmm, what does this do? Where does it go? So, then you push on the little thing back here because it moves you see that and you push it and this little cloth thing comes out and you don't know what it is so you just go and you don't understand but then you get older and then you do understand and then hormones are just growing up so fast i mean like you think they're not gonna happen but they do hormones will come and affect your life i don't care if you don't need puberty until you're freaking 13 years old you're gonna hit it sometime someday and that's just how it is so i mean yeah it's just hormones for you and if you don't like it i'm sorry you gotta live up you gotta grow up you just gotta it's part of growing up and even guys get hormones now i'm not gonna go into guy stuff because i don't even know most of that stuff if i asked some of my guy friends they wouldn't tell me but they'd know they wouldn't own in. It's the same for guys, kind of. Not as much stuff, but it's just about the same. So, anyway, I'm going to be doing a more video request. If I get video requests on this, I will do it on this one. And uh, also, if you like for things that you can do and um, just things like that, and I will be doing all of my videos. Actually, next, I'm going to be doing a, um, how to put on deodorant review. So, yeah, thanks for watching, girls. Um, please leave comments, requests down below. You can email me at kellyappleseed at gmail.com. Please subscribe to my channel. Please tell your friends. Please just watch, and, yeah. And also, if you've, uh, I'm going to be posting a dad's video, and it's going to be a little long, but, Still, I think your dad will like it if he has the time, and you will like it because your dad will know some stuff. And yeah.
Thanks for watching, girls. Bye.